what's up guys uh, thank you very much for watching now the components i have before me uh if build up together can give us a direct online starter so let us know the components that we need we'll look at the circuit and then we go ahead and build our circuit now first you have this guy here this is an mcd and the rating of this will entirely depend on the capacity of the motor that you're going to drive then same thing you have a contactor uh, also this contactor same thing you also rate it uh, depending on the rating of the motor okay so you have a contactor and remember your contactor must have these they must have uh, four poles now the the three poles are for red yellow blue the phases and then one will use it to hold the circuit okay then you're going to need an overload a delay like this one here okay and uh, this uh, will help you to protect your motor from you know overload current okay and so much more so you don't want to have direct online without overload delay then you're going to need these buttons the red one for stop and the green one for start okay now you'll need a rail if you're going to incorporate the things in the box okay then you're going to need some auto cable you're going to need some auto cable and some power cable and then you're good to put together your circuit okay uh, let's jump into it now first I want to show you let us look at this circuit here okay all right now I have two circuits here I we have got the control circuit and we have got the power circuit okay now now our control circuit uh, you if you see it comprises of uh, this MCB then you have your overload then you have your start uh, I mean you have your stop you have your start you have the hold then you have your coil okay and then your control circuit takes a live and a neutral now when we come to power circuit the power circuit it's now you know the the lines that go directly to the to the motor okay now you have your line here red yellow and blue now again the sequence it doesn't matter what colors you're using but the sequence should always be in this respect okay you go with red yellow blue okay if it was even if it was you know uh brown white black you know uh it would have been maybe brown black blue you know kind of stuff but it doesn't really matter even when you're wearing uh, this circuit you can choose to use all black all red all blue but you should get a band color band and then you label such that it is easier for you to know you know which one is which phase okay okay now from here you have got your mccb here triple pole okay right here now down here uh, below it you have got your overload relay which is this okay and then you have got your contactor here right here okay now these uh, would be your termination block on your motor where you have the u1 v1 and w1 okay now this is now your motor which is connected in a star all motors that you run directly online uh, are in star okay all right now you must probably seeing an overload delay and you're wondering so you we have you know auxiliaries you're seeing here on this overload delay 
so you have got normally open here and you have got normally closed now where you need to connect your control should be normally closed why in that this is normally closed okay always in fact it doesn't matter whether the thing is energized or not energized because you know you you always this will always be closed so when you connect your supply here and in the event of any fault current this circuit will be broken okay so when they break here it means the entire control will be de-energized and it will de-energize and also save your motor from blowing now mark you if you didn't have this incorporated in your circuit your motor will then blow okay all right so let's now jump and wire this thing here all right now to let you fall along well i'm going to leave the circuit right there such that you're able to see what we do now what you're going to do we're going to use this one uh, connecting the power circuit so let me first put this one aside okay and then we start now first what you want is to start with your mcb okay then from your mcb you you connect to your overload now to the 95 okay so this video is uh, will be pretty long but for you to benefit well you must watch it to the end and don't forget to subscribe okay now this is from your breaker okay now to the 95 of your overload okay now from 96 of your overload which is now this end okay now we, we we are going to feed it in the stop button okay i hope you're following along well now you can follow this this is number one normally closed of this of this button here with the stop button okay all right now the other side of this stop button right here we will put two cables okay all right which is this side here now we get now you see from here one cable will go to the to the hold and then the other one will, will enter the start button okay now this is our start button so this one doubles as a start and stop so you choose the side that has green this is red then you choose the side that has green okay now what we do we put this here have this wire here here that goes into this now what we are going to do is let us hook this we must put our overall relay to our motor okay now okay now this cable here must be seen now this cable here we can put it here okay
here, we need a cable here. And this cable will go to the coil. You see that? We'll go to the coil. So that means that there are two cables here. You see? One cable, you see this and this. So we have to put two cables uh, that will go to two wires that will go to, to this. Okay? One will go here and they short, one connect the coil. So these are the two cables right here. Now what do we do? One will go to our A1. A1 is where we put life. Okay. So we have A1 here. This is A2 for neutral. So you have to get this and you put it here. But remember, this contactor normally they have uh, the A2 are normally two. We have this one here, you're seeing here, and then we have another one right here. So you can save on wire instead of putting this side. Okay, now this, you see this, will now go to the other end of the start here. Now, this, we're going to enter it here. Okay. And then all right then we are good okay so we are somewhere now the other thing that we have to do is to connect the neutral now okay so right here where I told you right here so just put uh, this cable here just like that guys it's very difficult to make a short video out of these things here because we really need to make sure that you really understand what we are doing here that's why the video is long and please make sure you don't forget to like this video and if you have not subscribed do please all right now so you've already followed along what we've done from where we started here okay So you have already uh, fold along our circuit very well okay now we have our start and our stop and exactly you've seen how we fold here the overload lily we've already passed through the overload right here the breaker this one will go to the breaker i won't connect to that but you've already got that so meaning you would have this must be linked this breaker you connect it here it must be linked like this but then you'll have a small breaker probably five amps or ten amps then you give it to to the control okay now we have our retaining here right here and then we have got uh, here our coil okay 